Good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're tuning in. You may like to have ready a candle to light and a Bible to follow the readings, even a piece of bread and a cup of wine to give substance to the spiritual communion in Christ we can still share at this difficult time, even if we can't receive together the Holy Communion. More than ever, in these dark times, we need to renew our sense of hope. So we begin by lighting a candle and the diocesan Renewing Hope Prayer. God, our Father, renew our hope. By the Holy Spirit's power, strengthen us to pray readily, serve joyfully and grow abundantly, rejoicing in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collects for this week for Mothering Sunday and the Collect for Lent. Let us pray. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we have our Mothering Sunday readings. The 
first reading is taken from 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3 to 7. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Lord, take my lips and speak through them, take our minds and think through them, and take our hearts and set them on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This Sunday is Mothering Sunday, a day which often falls near the Church's celebration of St Joseph's Day on the 19th of March and the Feast of the Annunciation, when Mary was told she'd be the mother of Jesus on the 25th of March. Mothering Sunday is also known as Refreshment Sunday because although all Sundays are exempt from the Lenten fast, on Mothering Sunday it seems even more appropriate to celebrate as a family free from Lenten restraints, an opportunity for all to enjoy some refreshment during a solemn season. The whole nation, indeed the whole world, feels that we are in a very solemn season at this time, during the current outbreak of coronavirus COVID-19. Its shadow hangs over us all like a dark pall. And all of us, whether you are isolating for medical reasons or not, have become more isolated from one another as we heed the advice not to leave our homes or travel unnecessarily. All public worship has been suspended, so from this week at St John's we will be putting a weekly service on our website. A time of prayer and worship, of Bible readings and a short address. We hope that it will provide a corporate and community point of contact for us all both an opportunity for those who are regular churchgoers to continue in their weekly devotions, but also an opportunity for all in our parish and beyond to connect, to pray and to find hope in dark times. Setting aside some time to know that God is with us always and that God's love will never fail. He is, as we heard in our first reading, the God of consolation. 
We hope to make the text of the service and prayers available on the website alongside these videoed services. You may wish to light a candle as you watch and listen. Be assured of our prayers for you as you pray for us and others. And if you have special needs at this time, please do ring our parish office. We will try and help as best we can. If you're out for a walk or for shopping in town, please be aware that our churches are open at certain times for private prayer. Notices at the churches and on this website will keep you up to date on when those times are. We hope that these places of beauty, worship and prayer, standing as they do to the glory of God, will offer some kind of sanctuary and hope throughout this difficult time. Mothering Sunday this year will bring a great deal of sadness, as those who would otherwise have been together are physically separated from one another. But we can continue to think of one another, to pray for one another, and use the phone to keep in touch. May God, our loving parent, father and mother, be our source of strength, our comfort, and our joy, now and always. Amen. We declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and in earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. The response to each bidding, Lord hear us, is Lord graciously hear us. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. For all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness, or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For doctors, nurses and medical researchers, that through their skill and insight, many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We gather all our prayers together in the words that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the Church of England prayer for this time of coronavirus outbreak. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy, in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. We now move on to the Eucharistic prayer, uh, we're using uh, rather uh, rudimentary uh, vessels today, uh, a paper cup and plate, because we locked out of the, uh, the, the source of our keys and can't get into the safe. But hopefully by next week we'll have the proper uh, pattern and chalice. We we'll turn to the Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who are sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. So Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. 
Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Although we're not able to receive Holy Communion together, we can receive Christ's communion with us spiritually. So draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. the blood of Christ, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Loving God, as a mother feeds her children at the breast, you feed us in the sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tasted your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith and be witnesses to your love in all the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.